background. It looks like War of the Worlds back there. <laughs> Just watched that movie, so my tripod reminded me of the War of the Worlds <laughs> creatures. They do kind of look like them, don't they? Ba, ba. <laughs> I love the noise that those creatures make. The War of the Worlds, not the original one, but the one with Tom Cruise. Like, I love that movie so much. Um, I love movies that have really strong musical scores that are just like so good, like All Quiet on the Western Front. The Revenant, oh God, I could just listen to The Revenant's entire album. Like it's just so good. Some of them are just such dramatic. Maybe all it is for me is just a good cello. <laughs> if you just have a wah, wah drama cello, I'm just into it. <laughs> drama cello, that needs to be on a t-shirt. Hello and welcome back to a really excited Sienna for some reason. I don't, I, maybe it's just because I'm feeling myself. I have put my extensions back in, as you can see. I bleached and toned. I know that a lot of us were, on, like, were helping us, you and me. We everyone was helping me thank you for helping me thank you for voting thank you for um saying things about my hair and my nails and what you like and it does help me and i appreciate that i have decided that i'm going to do the extensions to help my hair grow just another little length of level what <laughs> what did i just say little 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 bit. i've decided that i want my extensions to be in for a little bit longer because i just the past few times that i've seen the back of my head i just felt like it was really wispy like i was feeling like danny devito in the penguin a couple of times like i felt like i had like three sprigs i know i shouldn't say that about myself but i just didn't like the look of it it didn't look thick and healthy it looked stringy and even though my hair had its moments i feel like the only time i really like it is the moment i've washed it i've blow dried it and it looks really good that day but then once i sleep on it and wake up the next day it's back to frizzy and it's back to looking like two hairs and that's what's bothering me i just i missed having hair i can braid and put a little beanie on i missed having hair that made me feel like a queen <laughs> i just miss having hair so i did the tape and extensions again if you guys want to see a video of me explaining it it's old but it's a video of me explaining how what i use and how i go about the process of doing my own tape and extensions but the toner worked really good on my actual hair like my hair that i uh that's used to getting bleached in tone that's usually what i do and so that worked pretty good on that uh it's just my um my roots got a little they didn't lift as much as they usually do uh, but i'm okay with it it looks good i think it looks great i think my hair is a little bit uh, to more toned than the extension is so they'll fade into each other eventually after i've shampooed a couple times and i love the way it looks i feel like daryl hannah in splash <laughs> from that 80s movie. She just had the most beautiful hair. But I wanted to mention too, I'm I'm actually kind of in shock how well these work together to make a homemade tinted moisturizer. I used the Keys Protect Your Light Daily Moisturizer that I got in an Ipsy, and then it's just literally a tiny little dab of this, like scooped into, and this is the Wet n Wild, so it's a really affordable foundation. And I take these and I, I mix them together in my hand and I just work it into my skin. And it has been the most beautiful, really lightweight tinted moisturizer with a good amount of coverage. I'm, I'm actually literally obsessed with it. I can't believe how good this looks. This has been my go-to lately because sometimes when you can't find what you need, you got to do it yourself. And I've just been really struggling finding a BB cream I like. So yeah, I'm going to today make, I'm going to go downstairs to the kitchen. I need to go, I need to go work out. I need to hit the gym. So I need to go turn the heat on in there. And then I want to make snacks for the week. So I do have some dates, I think, left over. I'd like to try to make some sort of date bite. And then I want to look up a bread recipe. I might just go with my crusty bread. I've made it three times now and it comes out perfect every single time and it's so easy. So I think I might just do that again because it's a foolproof recipe, but I am curious about, you know, my, my journey into bread making. Do I want to try maybe a different kind? I'm scared. I don't want to like make a bread and then it not work out. Anyway, that is uh, my morning. You are caught up 
and welcome to a new week with me. Gosh, I hate it when I talk that much in the intro. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back. This morning I made, as you saw, a quick clip of some some like breakfast bites. I wanted to do these, they're called the five minute protein peanut butter energy bites. I'm gonna sneeze. And the recipe is by Ambitious Kitchen. If anybody's looking for it, it's just healthy, like a healthy bite before I go work out, after I work out, whatever I feel like doing. Before I go upstairs, here's my protein balls. Look at that, it looks literally, it looks like a meatball. Yum, I like. Just got done with therapy. Just got done crying. <laughs> I cry every time, pretty much. Not every time, but per almost. It's just a lot, it digs up a lot of like emotion and stuff from your youth and just your family, your past, everything. It just brings all that up. Um, and sometimes it's stuff that like hurts to bring up because it was, people you cared about, people you loved that treated you um, unfairly and didn't even really realize that maybe those people aren't even doing it, you know, on purpose to be malicious, but it has affected you in some way and then you've got to work through that. So it's just always such like a, uh, you know, it's heavy. I was really proud of myself because I unlocked, we did the dot EMDR, so we had the dot and we unlocked some things about me and one of them is YouTube. One of them is why I like to do this and it was such an interesting little fact for me because I have always kind of wondered what, why I want to do this so badly. And when she was asking me why and I'm looking at the dot and I'm going through it in my head. I grew up watching Clarissa Explains It All, Blossom, I grew up on like these characters and I really, because I didn't know myself and couldn't figure out who I was and who I wanted to be and anything about me at all, I watched these girls for guidance and they were who I attached myself to for uh, role models and guidance was these TV characters. So that's why I think I'm so, I'm such a TV person because I grew up watching TV and finding comfort in these TV characters. And why I love vlogging and YouTube so much is because I get to express myself the way that I was shown <laughs> throughout growing up. And so I want success on YouTube. And I said out loud and it came to me so naturally. It's because I wanna help people feel like they're not alone and maybe give them a little bit of like guidance. And so leaning into the things that I'm doing to advocate for myself when at first I felt like was preachy, like for example, talking about sobriety a lot, talking about being in therapy a lot, talking about anxiety a lot. I felt like it was just sounding like I was complaining. And that's not it. I want to show how I'm doing things to help myself feel better. And in the, in the long run, inspire or help someone else see that there's hope and that if you're feeling a little unsure or if you're feeling even just a little lonely or if you're feeling a little stuck if you feel like you just want to see someone else doing it in a way that inspires you to want to do it then that if I can give that then that's me winning at this so that's all I ask that's all I have that's all I want and I don't I said I'm not looking for fame I'm not looking to be this famous person I'm just wanting to help and inspire and be able to express myself on YouTube. And that's where I'm at. <laughs> that was the epiphany I had. And it was like, oh my God, that's why I wanna do this and why I love it so much. So I need to be sure that I'm including and I need to stop cutting it out whenever I wanna go into a little bit more of a talk about sobriety and going into a little bit more about therapy, talking a little bit more about what it's like to be somebody with anxiety, because that's where I'm at in my life and there's nothing wrong with that. People who don't want to watch that are welcome to not watch it. I can't control that, but I feel like the risk of t 
talking about it more openly is purely the risk of judgment. And that's not on me. That's on the person who decides to make decisions about someone who's sharing small portions of their life. But the most I can do is help share just some of the human experience <laughs> with you and recipes and working out and just things I'm doing to like make myself not go crazy because the world is crazy <laughs> and we're all just getting up every morning and just trying to get through it you know therapy is so great it's so great it's just such a nice way to figure it all out because it you get it all gets mixed up it, it's almost like it all gets put into a box and shaken up and over the years it just gets kicked around in storage and you never really open it and let the dust out and figure out what's in there and that's all i'm doing is just figuring out what's in there what is, what is going on <laughs> and why do i feel mentally that i've got to be anxious to get through a day help myself not feel miserable is <laughs> the goal <laughs> so you know working out therapy, not drinking, all of these things are just such a huge milestone in my life of years and years and years of doing nothing. You guys have seen me make bread before, but we're gonna make it together again. And then two teaspoons of yeast, which I have in this little guy, and then some salt. Okay, so it says mix the water. I bought these beeswax food wraps and look at how big they are. <laughs> Dang it, I really wanted these to cover the bread. So I'm gonna have to order another set, but so it looks like I need to go back and order, oh wait. Small, medium, large. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have bigger ones in here? Oh my God. Oh, I'm so happy. I have, I just noticed that. Yay, so this works like saran wrap, but they're reusable. And I, I really wanted to put this around my bread, but now because it's beeswax, it just kind of folds around what you're trying to do. How cute. All right, we can actually take this off here now. Alexa, set the timer for two hours. Oh, I love you so much, I do, I love you. <laughs> uh, closed out my exercise ring, a little over half of my stand ring and most of my movement ring. Oh my goodness, look at that. Jiggly wiggly, that's how you want it. There is our dough to go into the oven. I just tried the soup and it is so good. It, it, I did it tortilla soup style, so it's chicken. We just don't have tortillas, but it's chicken, tons of vegetables. I poured the pasta in already. And then I did some chili flake, so it's kind of spicy. Oh, and I did a little bit of flour, so that's how it's got that kind of like um, more creamy look to it. And then a little bit of sour cream in here too. Currently, the top crisping and it's almost done. So it's gonna be warm, fresh bread with butter and a bowl of tortilla soup with chicken and veggies. And it's gonna be so good. <laughs> You're gonna go in the pot next. <laughs> Little loaf of bro red. Look at that belly, look at it. Mm, yeah, look at that bread. Oh, there he is. He's a loaf, too. Are you a loaf of bread, Bean? Yeah, loaf, too. Oh, <laughs> And a little pink belly. Lunch is late, but served. Mm. It's so good.
I don't know what lipstick I'm gonna wear because I don't know what I'm wearing and that always is a factor like what I'm wearing is a huge factor in what lip I want to wear so maybe I'll go decide my clothes first and I need to dry this hair before it starts to dry because if it gets past that point where I can style it then it's gonna just have to be natural curls and I don't want that I want to like style it and then I really doused it in some conditioning spray so I need to go style it and get dressed and then we have to run to the mall the present I originally got for my husband for Valentine's Day has finally come in which is so frustrating that's such a long time to wait for a pickup order <laughs> my heart genuinely cannot take it when they do that. Wearing a black oversized, where did I get this? I got it from Fashion Nova, that's right. I ordered this from Fashion Nova with a gift certificate a friend gave me. So I love it and I haven't worn it in a while and I wanna make sure I get a lot of use out of it right now because as soon as it warms up, all this stuff is going into a closet. This is that time where I feel kind of rushed to wear all the things I haven't gotten to wear yet this winter. Oh, and I put on the Ruby Woe. I miss Ruby Woo. It's such a beautiful red. Uh, so I, I actually want to just pop in to see if I can find an upcycle project. My upcycling videos do really well and I have the most fun with them. I love imagining how I could change something that's ugly into something that's cute. Uh, yeah, that's it. And then I gotta stop by the grocery store and get some coffee creamer, cause I am out. So that is the list of to-dos. <laughs> I love online shopping and having people just bring you your shit. <laughs> I love it. It's an agoraphobic dream. You can only think, unfortunately, Covidigus 19 the third, because that, that is the reason why we have so many options now. I cannot tell you how many people reverse out of a parking space without looking. Every time. I always wait to make sure that they're looking because they never are. All right, well, I think I found the ugliest dress in the entire Goodwill. I circled that place so many times. I really struggled finding something to do, but this dress is so spring and so tacky <laughs> that I think it's gonna be a really fun challenge. So we're gonna upcycle a dress tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm gonna give it a wash. I'm gonna get home tonight, give it a wash, and I might see about what trim I'm gonna use on it possibly pop out to the uh, fabric store to see if I can find some new trim because I keep using the same one and I'm kind of in the mood for a different one. I'm at the grocery store. I'm going to grab coffee creamer and some groceries and yeah, my battery's dying. Perfect timing. Husband's home. It's blurry. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Going straight in for the cereal. Oh, yeah. Straight in. Ooh, you're not your new sweater. No. Is that not your new one? One of the new ones. Why don't you wear your new one? Uh, I'm gonna wear it for golf this Saturday. Yeah. Or trip in Portland. Oh, nice, nice. Look what I got us for dessert. Ooh, yeah. The Claire, what are they called? Yeah. Bob. Happy Valentine's Day, Bob. Hey, thanks. I'm about to put that up there. <laughs> the cereal in the cupboard. Showing my upcycle, I'm gonna do a dress upcycle. I said, I'm gonna pick the ugliest dress in the Goodwill. Do you think I got the ugliest one? Uh, it's pretty hideous. <laughs> the ugliest dress at the Goodwill. It looks like a bigger version of like what you would hang on the stove. <laughs> it's got shoulder pads. How much was it? Eight bucks. Best of luck to you. I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make it cute. <laughs> it's gonna be quite the challenge. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm. Uh, oh, 
What is that? Gray clouds. I thought today was supposed to be sunny. <sighs> Dang it, I really need to mow my lawn. <laughs> it's like a jungle out there. But hello, um, I just made some coffee. It's the morning. I was just dreaming, literally, of how I'm going to upcycle this dress and I'm so excited about it. Last night I started to paint the nails to match the florals on the dress and I just need to finish that. It was just so dark. I started it and I started painting the detail into it and I was just like, dude, I can't see. Uh, so I'm gonna finish it this morning now that I can actually see what I'm doing and then get the nails done, get those drying and curing and then I can start this project <laughs> it's gonna be so fun i'm so excited i think it's a dog mom kind of day i think this matches this really nice <laughs> just so you guys can kind of see what i mean with the hair so even though it's that kind of unbrushed messy i slept on it look and i need to brush it and maybe just give it a little quick recurl on the bottom i don't mind the grunge look i mean i do live in the grunge capital of the world <laughs> i like it like this i just this is why i like the extensions because i literally can just wake up in the morning and i love the way they look nails are on and done hopefully you can see these just little like blue floral buds was the goal okay here is the dress on i actually don't hate it i just think these like granny kind of what I call teacher's dresses, but they're just dresses. I, I say it every time, but they're dresses that remind me of what my teachers wore when I was like in grade school. Uh, but I, I kind of love it. And I, it, the shoulder pads are huge. I know that shoulder pads are kind of having a moment right now, but I just, I do not want them with this. So I'm going to take those out. Uh, I love the pockets. I absolutely love the pockets. It's so cute. Now I want to cut the length because I don't like this length. It looks too matronly on me. And I was thinking about ruching and adding ribbon. And the sleeves I want to shorten. So I'm probably gonna fold them up and then just pin them and sew them. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take out these horrendous shoulder pads. <laughs> so let's just, I'm literally just gonna cut them off. Some of them, if I feel like they're really sewn in tightly, I'll use a seam ripper. bowl in a giant Marvin. <laughs> oh my goodness, I couldn't love you more. I couldn't. Mm. This is mama's stuff. Oh, I love you. Can I have a kiss first? Give me a kiss. Thank you. Okay, you can be free. Be free. <laughs> be free from my smothering ways. <laughs> Yesterday I was going ba 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 over top of them and my husband was like, what are you doing? And I said, helicopter mom. Uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I was just hovering <laughs> over my dogs because I, I literally cannot be apart from them. And it's a sickness. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I've actually decided I'm going no ruffle because I want to ruche and the ruffle I put on everything. So I want to try something different. I think I'm just going to stick with the hem as it is, but ruche the top and add little bows. It's gonna be cute. So I've marked the spots in the front where I wanna pull the ruche up. And ruching is when something's gathered and then you just tie it and it just gathers in that area. It's kind of very like Victorian, old school way of lifting the front of the dress. Cinderella's dress had those little lifts with the little bows on it. So I'm going for that. Um, I watched a few tutorials last night on how to ruche. I have pink ribbon, I have like lacy ribbon. But then I remember that we had this from when we opened the Gucci wallpaper. I think this color is perfect. I'm just gonna go around and check to see if there's anything I need to cut off like strings, but it's done. The dress is done. I love the way this 
turned out. I am so happy with it. I think it's my favorite one. I say that about every upcycle, but I think this might be my favorite upcycle. It's so good. It's so cute. I'm in my garden, actually, trying to get some photos right here because it's like the perfect lighting. But um, it's because the sun's like partially out. And so are the dogs. Look at this. Look at this. And I don't know what these are, these berries? There's so much stuff happening that I don't remember from last year. I think this is one of the tulips that I planted. Don't know what these are. Ooh, there's a big juicy worm in there. Look at him go. Do your thing, buddy, do your thing. <laughs> we welcome him. And then these, I believe, are just the bluebells that just have taken over. And then over here, look at this. Oh my gosh. Something is coming to life. That to me looks like one of the daffodils that I planted and didn't know if it was going to make it or not. So let me just give you some cautions. I don't want to scare you, but I want you to be informed, especially when it comes to making this crucial decision for your race beds. So here's a caution on making your own compost. Garden update. Oh, look at the Pomeranians over there. I knew I recognized that bark. Pomeranians have a very specific bark. Look at this palm and the gardens. And a beautiful day. And a crazy dog. Cause he's insane. Oh no, she's reverse sneezing. You guys are a mess. And patient babies. It's so beautiful out. It's just so hard to not talk about spring and the excitement for the warmer weather coming when it's like this out. Cause it's just so lovely. Good morning. I have shoes on, so the Shih Tzus are stalking me. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to meet my friend Kate. We are he uh, heading to a local coffee shop. It's called Olympia, and it's up in the Proctor area, which is that little shopping area where I tend to go a lot. She just started her own business. It's called Maven Sailing. If you're into sailing at all, like on the water in a boat sailing, she does professional competition sailing. It's really cool what she does. And she just started a business for sailing gear. to touch up my lipstick I look crazy and I've changed because I'm actually going to be heading to a local golf course to walk the course with my husband I'm going to get in my steps he's going to get in some swings <laughs> and we're both happy <laughs> how cool is this so it is called maven sailing check it out on instagram it's awesome woman-owned biz and cool stuff. This is a really nice tote. It is nice. Like the detail on it with all the buckles and it's even got a zipper. I love it when a tote has a zipper. Shout out to Kate and Maven Sailing. Badass, I'm so glad we got together. That was great. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna go for a nice evening stroll around the golf course. It's a great place to go for a walk, honestly, if you're trying to get in a little bit of fitness. Nice. Look at this little seating area, it's so cute. Literally smells like spaghetti out here, like straight up ragu dinner time cute it's like a golf course just completely tucked away in between all these little houses looks like there's not going to be anybody behind us huh cool i really hope i don't get my shoes dirty hmm muddy I actually do think I would be willing to do this because 
Well, that and uh, just getting exercise, honestly. I can't believe how close these houses are though. Don't they just kind of like hate the amount of golf balls that probably come flying at their windows? My plastic surgeon doesn't want me doing any activity where balls fly at my nose. Well, there goes your social life. <laughs> Ooh, a little to the left. Got my Arnold Palmer, by the way. I don't think she knew what an Arnold Palmer was. She said, let me see if we got the ingredients to make that. And I said, lemonade and tea? Oh yeah. <laughs> She's about to go in the back and Google it. <laughs> How you work at a golf course and not what an Arnold Palmer is, but she was so nice. I'm not making fun. Man, they really go missing easy, don't they? Balls, they go missing really easily. <laughs> oh wow, look at the mountain back there. Lyle Sutton is setting up on the rough. So close to getting on the green. Let's see if he can chip it in for a par. <laughs> I was trying to commentate. Is that a bogey? This is a par. That's a par. Okay. Nice. And that firewood smells good. <laughs> if you guys had smell of vision. What's, it's not a totem, it's a little... What is he? He's cool. <laughs> Aww. He's playing a bagpipe. Chick-fil-A salads for dinner. I think I'm gonna learn how to golf. Right, Bob? Yeah. You gonna teach me? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get good. I'm gonna get better than him. I'm gonna be so good. I'm gonna be so good that I'm gonna like, you're gonna be embarrassed to bring me because I'm so good. Oh no, I always pick the slow line. You gonna give me photo credit? Mm -hmm. I do this every time I come here. I always pick the slow line at least the people in front of us have kung fu kung fu <laughs> kung fu panda on the tv oh my god yet again fine. but it's just weird yeah, like yeah. how do i always pick the slow line it's because of you no i do it when you're not in the car this is just my life I'm about to sit down and do a dedicated video on my YouTube journey and where I'm at with it. So if you guys wanna see that video, this is what I'll be looking like. It's Why does this hair keep just popping up into the center of my head? So if you wanna see that video, it will be coming after this one. I feel like I have a few dedicated videos that are overdue. I need to do a full talk through of anxiety and agoraphobia. I need to do a full talk through of sobriety and I need to uh, do this YouTube one and I think this YouTube one might be the most like fresh on my mind So I'm gonna work on that and then just stay tuned for some videos coming up that are just all about the one topic Because it's these are and the perimenopause. I wanted to talk about hormones and perimenopause So I have quite a few like I need to just sit down and, and go through it and maybe have a little bit of structure so I stay Organized because I have a really hard time staying focused on the subject. I start over sharing too many details and before you know it it's the longest video in the world i'm going to work on that right now if you want to see that video just stay tuned for it this video is done though so thank you so much for following me along this week i i ed pre-edited it last night and i was like oh this is a fun vlog so i hope you enjoyed it and please do subscribe if you're not and i will see you guys on the next video bye I like to share that